هلا فيكم من جديد الانترناشونال فاشن بلوجر ايمي سونغ معروفه انها تحب تمزج بين الالوان والاقمشه وتاثرها بالهندسه المعماريه باين على اسلوبها فخلينا نتعرف عليها اكثر I think everybody's special and unique, and I have my own unique perspective and point of view, and that's what my blog is about. My style and philosophy, um, I think it's just all about enjoying the moment and doing what works for me. I don't, I don't really stress out over what other people are going to think about how I dress. I, I dress for myself and for my own happiness. And, Um, it's very important for me to like make sure that I'm happy and I'm happy with what I'm wearing. I think if I were to really describe what my personal style is, um, I think it's a little bit of feminine, um, but also very laid back because I'm from California, so it has that easygoing. aspect of it. I don't want to be too done up. I don't want to look perfect. I mean, I'm not perfect. No matter how hard I try, I won't ever be perfect. But that's totally fine because I'm really comfortable in my own skin. And I think that just makes me unique and stand out compared to other people. When I'm traveling, it's really important for me to travel my beauty products because I have very sensitive skin and I have a very specific type of skin. So it's really important for me to have the beauty products that I always use so that at least, you know, I have to start somewhere and I have to feel comfortable somewhere because if I'm in a foreign country, I don't want to break out and have like an emergency, like an like a allergic reaction to anything. So I always bring my beauty products, all the necessities, um, including makeup and skincare. And then I wear, I bring clothes depending on the location or the country. If you open up my purse, you'll find almost nothing but you'll find a lip liner from Laura Mercier. A lipstick also from Laura Mercier. My camera for vlogging. And then um, it's a lip treatment, Vaseline. That says my name. That's it. <laughs> And then my room key. I don't even have my wallet in here. <laughs> For the women that are watching this program and the men, I think it's nice to open your eyes. You know, be be acceptive of ac accepting of different people's beliefs and cultures, and just like open your eyes and try to learn about other people. You know, it, it's always like an inspiring thing. Learning is always amazing. And then I'll also start somewhere. If you ever had that little doubt that you you're not going to be able to do it, it's just that little voice in your head that's telling you. Um, but if you wanted to achieve something, go after it. And in order to, you know, achieve something, you have to start somewhere. So I think that's really important too. That was one of the questions everybody was asking me, like, how do I find the fashion scene in Dubai? And I feel like it's very different from California. Um, for the most part, most people are obviously dressed more modestly than we are in California, even though we have a similar climate where California is also a desert. Like, it's really hot. It's not as humid as Dubai, actually, but the temperature is very similar, especially in L.A. and Dubai. Especially when I was leaving LA, I was in LA for a day and it was so hot and so is Dubai, but we dress so differently and I find it very inspiring how you can dress super modestly but still have your own personal style. Everybody has like different types of makeup, different types of jewelry, they really um, take note on their accessories and that's how they differentiate themselves and I like that about the women here.